guys, it's Morgan from The Treasure Trove here again with my August favorites. I can't believe it's September August favorites. I know it's like a week into September, so it's a little late, but uh, I was just super busy and I recorded this a bunch of times and I just didn't like how it turned out. So I am doing it over again. So yes, I'm in my bathroom just because there's better light in here and the acoustics are better in here and uh, I like having my polka dot shower curtain in the background here. So, anyway, let's get started. I have two favorite lip products this month, and the first is I wore this so much this month, this past month. It was really great in summary. It was the Elf Matte Lip Color, Lip Color, in the color Coral, and it comes in this little pencil, and it was just this great light coral kind of neutral shade. I know I had a photo shoot actually where I was um, interviewed for a local magazine and I was wearing this and when I got the photos back I was like wow I just really love that lip color. It's just really great up for pale girls who want like a pop of color but don't want to look like they're drowning <laughs> in it. It's just like a perfect light coral shade and it was perfect for summer. I know now we're coming out of the summer months which is extremely extremely depressing to me personally but um, it was great. I love the matte formula. It is super matte and but it's not super drying and it stays on really well. Like this stayed on through eating, drinking, talking for hours because you know that I'm really good at that. Uh, and it's just for three dollars full price. I got this one for 75 cents at Kmart over the summer but even at three dollars is a great deal. It really performs like a high-end lipstick so if you ever see these at the dollar store or are cruising through the aisle at Target and you see them, I know they come in a lot of shades. I have almost all of them. Uh, they're just really worth it because they're super great. I don't know. I love them. And my second favorite lip product is what I'm wearing right now that I wore a lot in August was, I don't know, it's just, I don't even know, it's City Color, City Color Lip Balm, which I got this at Walgreens last summer and it doesn't have a color name, it's just the color light pink. But they say that it's a lip balm, but it really is more like a lipstick. You see it, how it dries. When you put it on, it's super moisturizing, but it dries like a lipstick. So I would say it's more of a lipstick, but here you can see that it's got a little bit of pearlescent to it, not too much, which is great because I don't like metallic lipstick at all on me personally. And um, it stays on pretty good. It, this is like 99 cents full price at Walgreens. So I wasn't expecting the world of this product personally when I got it, but I was pretty impressed. I also have this in the red shade, which is like a really good orange tomato-y red color, which is great for me. And I find myself reaching for these a lot more than I reach for any of my other lipsticks because they're so easy to put on. They're so easy to take with me. Um, I don't have to worry about precise application with this because it does go on like a lip balm so I can just swipe it on and then it dries like a lipstick which is great. It doesn't stay on very well but I'm the kind of person who honestly doesn't mind reapplying lip products. I know some people just absolutely hate that. Like if, if the lipstick won't last they won't buy it but I don't mind it so I don't mind reapplying. So this I personally think it's really fun actually to just like get out your compact or get in front of a mirror and be like uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just vain, but I like doing that. But yeah, so for a dollar, it's totally worth it. I know they come in a bunch of different colors now. When I when I picked these up, they only came in like four colors, like dark pink, light pink, red, and nude. But now there's a whole bunch of colors. Cause I was at five below, and we saw my mom and I saw like about six different shades, probably more than that. So if you ever see them. They're definitely worth it. This color, I'm just obsessed with it. It's like a baby doll, cotton candy, pink, super feminine, super fun, but not too bright. I love my bright lipsticks, but when I'm just in the mood for some color, but not wanting, excuse me, Jesus. I just had like a full on like five course Mexican meal at a restaurant. Like I had, it wasn't five courses, but I had chips and salsa and burritos and beans and a dessert and so I'm like super, super full. So I'm sorry if I'm burping in the middle of this video. Um, but yeah, 
super awesome. Used it a lot in August. And oh my gosh, I forgot something. Anyway, I'll get that in a second. My last favorite beauty favorite of the month was, I know if you're part of the Beauty Insider Club at Sephora, which you probably all already are, you get a free birthday gift. And this year they gave out some Benefit products, which I've always been wanting to try out Benefit. I just don't have the extra cash to just like drop to try some out. So I got some samples with my birthday product, with my birthday present from Sephora. And one of them was the, bene the Benefit. I can't even talk. What is wrong with me? <sighs> anyway, it's the What's Up highlighter, which I love the name. Benefit always has some fun, quirky names. Got little light bulbs on it. And I'm personally never really been a like fan of highlighters. Like I just never have tried them out. But this one, it just comes on a little stick and you swipe it on or you dab it on with your fingers. And it just gives you like an extra little luminescent glow. Like I know I love a little bit of luminous, blah, blah, blah. I love the luminous look and I used to have the Mary Kay uh, luminous foundation, but I ran out of it and I never got around, re blah, blah. <laughs> I never got around to repurchasing it. So I have really been missing like the luminous look to my foundation. So this is perfect for that. I just put it on my cheekbones. I'm wearing it right now. Unfortunately, my eyebrows are so low to my eyelid that I can't wear the highlighter on my brow bone like it suggests because it just, the highlighter ends up just like going right into my eyebrow. I've tried this before and it just, it never works. So no eyebrow highlighter for me, but I do wear it on my cupid's bow and on my cheeks and it just, it brightens up your face a little more. I never... I never was a believer in highlighters before I tried them. So definitely check it out. Great. Now, on to my favorite fashion item, whatever you want to call it, of the month. And this month, as you guys, if you didn't know, it was my, not this month. What do I keep saying this month? It's September. It's not August anymore. This past month was my birthday and I was not expecting this from Brian. Hey, shut up, Bum. You guys. It's just amazing. Are you ready? My favorite fashion item. Oh, oh my god! Louboutins. Like for real, these have been my shoe dream forever. And Brian found them at a local consignment shop. They're authentic. They're real. They've never been worn before. And oh my god, I like I started crying. Like honestly. These have been my dream since, I don't know, like I was 16 years old to own these. So they're the Pigalle Plateau, not the regular Pigalle because the platform makes it a lot easier to walk in. I would probably kill myself if I did, I just wore the regular Pigalle. So, uh, yeah, I just don't know how I, I, I am speechless, absolutely speechless that these are mine now. Like I'll show you some of my skills. Show you. Whoa! Oh my god! <gasps> yeah, so maybe in a fashion video I'll feature them, but you know, I'm trying to keep um, my fashion videos frugal and they are not the most frugal item that you could ever buy. Yeah, like I'm the first girl in the world to get Louis Vuitton inside. Oh, I'm just like super excited, honestly. And then my favorite random find of the month. I didn't go thrifting a lot this month, just on my birthday and picked up some awesome things. I'm thinking about starting a new series about thrift hauls maybe to show you guys that you can get like a ton of designer or high-end or just like labels at thrift stores and like because on my birthday I probably got I don't know like 10 things that were actual like name brands and the total came to $40. So Maybe I'll start that series for you guys. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'm not really the biggest fan of haul videos, but I do like watching them occasionally, and I know some of you out there really like them, so maybe I'll start that. But anyway, my favorite random find of the month I actually came from Five Below, and it was the last place I thought I would find it. It is this awesome Bravest Warriors magnet. It was $3, 
And if you don't know what Bravest Warriors is, it's a cartoon on Cartoon Hangover, which you can watch on YouTube. And it was created by Pendleton Ward, who is the creator of Adventure Time. And basically they're all like the rejected Adventure Time episodes that Cartoon Network deemed too inappropriate for their channel that he channeled into this series. And it is awesome and it's hilarious. And I actually started watching this before I started watching Adventure Time. So, I don't know, I'm a huge fan of both. So, definitely my random find of the month. Favorite. And lastly, I know I didn't have a lot to show you guys, but lastly, my favorite Pandora station this month has to be... Yeah, Backstreet Boys. I was on a huge Backstreet Boys 90s pop kick throughout all of August. Brian probably wanted to like murder me because every two seconds I would put on the, my Backstreet Boys radio, be singing along to Backstreet Boys or NSYNC or Britney Spears. Um, just all that great 90s stuff I grew up with. The boy bands today I think are terrible. No one can be on Backstreet Boys or NSYNC level. One Direction is shitty. Sorry. But if you grew up in the 90s, you definitely have a soft spot in your heart for all those boy bands. So it's funny because when I was growing up, I really wasn't super, super into it. Like I never participated in the Backstreet Boys in Sync War or had any of their albums. But um, after I grew up and uh, entered high school, I really started getting into it with my friends. We would like get super obsessed and listen to, oh my God. <laughs> There's something in my eye. Yeah, I grew up and I really started to appreciate it more and really realized that 90s pop music and just 90s music in general was a very special time. And I'm glad to have grown up in the 90s. So, those are all my favorites of this month. I know there wasn't a lot to show you. Um, August was kind of crazy for me. Hopefully with the coming of fall, I'll definitely have more definitive, definitive favorites to talk to you guys about. I hope you guys are still watching and enjoying these because I really enjoy making them. And I'm going to try to do more videos a week because uh, I just love making videos. So I hope you guys stick around and I have one more favorite to show you. Favorite kitty of the month! Blinko, it's my favorite kitty this month. Do you have anything to say, Blinko? I will always be your favorite of the month, mommy. Yeah, I know. You're my little baby. He seriously is terrified of the bathroom. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs it up if you liked it. And remember to subscribe and remember to stay cheap and lazy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!